Hello and welcome to the next episode of Brad's Angling Adventures. Um, in the last episode, I showed you how to get your flatbed method feeder on your line, whether it be inline or elasticated, um, and how to attach your hook lengths. Um, as I said, they're all pretty much the same on how they attach to your line or whatever they'll do pretty much the same thing so the choice is yours of which one you uh, you go with um, but as I said I'll as I said in the last one and I'll put a link to that last one up here um, I've mixed up some a little bit of ground bait and show you how to mold uh, your ground bait onto your method feeder um, I've already made a method feeder up on the just drawn line again. Got the large inline Guru method feeder on there in 28 gram. As you can see, sliding up and down the line. Um, I've got attached to that a Guru method bead, quick change method bead. And then I've got six pound um, Guru end gauge line for the hook length. With this hook length, I've used a size 14 Preston PRC1 hook. I've done one of my own homemade bait spikes on it, and I've put a 10 mil bright orange ringers. Um, all sorts boily on there okay so that's the basic setup that I would use really um, I'd use like an eight pound main line if I'm using a six pound hook length I'd normally use an eight pound main line so that if I do get snagged or break off it's only going to be the hook length like the hook and whatever I'm going to lose I'm not going to lose the feeder as well so always try and use a, a lighter hook length to what you're using on your main line um, the ground bait I've mixed up is a mix of my own I, I crushed up um, robin red um, pellets I think they were, I think they were yeah, robin red pellets and halibut pellets and mixed it all together and it's made quite a nice quite a nice smelly mix to be honest um, you'll see that closer in a minute when I show you how to um, make up the method so without further ado let's get on with it so here we are with me ground bait mixed up quite a dry mix see it's a nice colour nice ready colour a lovely smell to it and when you give it a squeeze it'll make a ball but it'll easily break down into the powder again okay give it a nice tight squeeze and it's all together like that and then it will easily break down again so that's going to break down lovely on the bottom of the lake bed or wherever you're fishing with it okay so how do we load our method up what I do is I get my mould for whatever method feeder I'm using whether it be Guru, Preston, Corum, whatever um, and whatever size I'm using <coughs> And I'll put my mould into my box okay then I'll get my method feeder and I'll put my hook I'll lay my hook bait into the bottom of the mould with my hook length coming out of the fat end of the mould okay then I'll fill that up with ground bait okay a little 
and push down. Then, obviously, fat end of the method feeder goes to the fat end of the mould. So, we'll put that on top of there. Give that a good push down. Alright. Get the excess off the sides and whatever. Give it a good push. And then, as I said, with these method feeders, you've got to slightly pull the sides apart, and there's a little square on the back of these, which is thinner and softer than the rest of the mould. So what you do is give that a little push, and there is your made-up method feeder. Okay. Give the size a little clean off, give the stem a clean off, and that's that's your method feeder. And you give that a cast out, and that will sit on the bottom and slowly break down as you can see. You can just see the, the hook bait in the top there, nice and bright sitting at the top. Okay. That's how I mix mine up. Or should I say build mine up um, and that'll that will sit and break down nicely on the lake bed okay the other way of doing it exactly the same principle is you can totally bury your hook bait in the method, okay, to get your mould again as per usual, put some of your bait in, okay, so it covers the bottom of the mould, put your hook bait in, fill the rest up. and then just repeat it again exactly the same way as you've done it before give it a good squeeze and there is your method made up again but obviously your hook bait is totally masked by your ground bait or your other way of doing the method feeder, if the fishing is really hard and you're trying to get a bite, is just fill your feeder up with your ground bait or your pellets, whatever you're using. Whack your feeder on there like that exactly the same as before give it a good squeeze you want to make sure that's getting to the bottom before it breaks up okay and leave your hook bait hanging from your feeder like that okay and then You've got a nice pile of feed that's going to break down on the bed and your hook bait is totally visible. So that's how you load the method feeder. Very simple, very easy. Um, What I'll do now is I'll put a pellet feeder on because they all attach the same way. I'll put a pellet feeder on and come back and show you how to load that. Right, there we are with a pellet feeder. Okay, I know I've got, I know I've got ground bait in here, but the principle is exactly the same. 
all right so what you'll do is you push pellets into your feeder like so okay so you've the back end of the feeders filled up with pellets all right and you've got like a recess there okay then get your hook bait lay it into that recess of, of pellets whatever making sure your hook length is coming out the front and then just push pellets in over the top of your hook bait like so and that is your pellet feeder loaded and ready to go and then obviously these gaps here and at the back got holes at the back here as you can see water will go in through them holes your pellets will start to expand it'll all push out and then your hook bait will be left sitting at the front like that in a nice pile of pellets so that's how we do method feeder and the pellet feeder and they're all pretty much same sort of thing really so I hope this helps a few of you out there any questions feel free to get in touch um, I'll put links to my Instagram up here um, also the email can go up here as well don't forget to give us a like subscribe give us a thumbs up like this little guy does um, and also if you want notifications of when new videos are going live on YouTube hit the bell icon and you'll get notified of whenever there's new videos so as I said don't forget to like and subscribe um, and until the next one tight lines see you in the next video